Hello, today we're going to talk about graphing functions. So right away, let's go right into an example. Graph the function y equals 1 half x plus 2 with domain negative 6, negative 4, negative 2, 0, and 2. Get that down. Then after, identify the range of the function. So I have steps on how you'll do this. When you get this problem, it will literally say this, all that blue part up top there, and that's it. So your step one, the first thing to do is to make a table of values by substituting the domain values of the function. So here's our domain values. That's our x values. So under x, I put negative 6, negative 4, negative 2, 0, and 2, because they told me to input those is with this excuse me, with the domain, negative 6, negative 4, negative 2, 0, 2. So I want you right now, make a table, after you wrote all this down, make a table, only put the green part of the table, the blue I already started to fill out, and we're going to continue to fill it out together. So I have here my domain is x, and the domain I'm going to put in is negative 6, negative 4, negative 2, 0, and 2. What's the function? Well, the input value of the function is half of x equals, I'm sorry, half of x plus 2. And whatever you get is your y. So the first domain value I'm plugging in is negative 6, and that's my x value. So I'm plugging in for x, negative 6. Half of negative 6 plus 2, half of negative 6 is negative 3, and negative 3 plus 2 is negative 1. Now we go into the next one. I'm plugging in negative 4 for my x value. Half of negative 4 plus 2, well half of negative 4 is negative 2 plus 2, negative 2 plus 2 is 0. Half of x plus 2, now I'm plugging in negative 2 for x. Half of negative 2 is negative 1, negative 1 plus 2 is 1. Good. Now I'm plugging in 0. Half of 0 is 0. 0 plus 2 is 2. Good. Lastly, the last domain value to plug in, half of 2 is 1. Plus 2 is 3. So I filled out my table with the information given. Step 2 list the ordered pairs. So my table actually gives me ordered pairs. I have an x value that corresponds with the, a y value. That's an ordered pair. So my first ordered pair you can see is negative 6, negative 1. I took it straight from my table. The next ordered pair is negative 4, 0. The next is negative 2, 1. And the next is 0, 2. And lastly, 2, 3. Those five ordered pairs are coming from here because when I plug in the specific x value, I get that specific y value. Ordered pairs always are x and then y. So this is my x value. When I plug it in, I get this y value. They're a pair. They only work together for this function. I can't put negative 6 with a different number because if I put a negative 6 into the equation, the only number that comes out is negative 1. So that pair works every time. Okay, so now step 2 in black here, it says then graph the function. So start making a table of values and it doesn't have to be, there's not large numbers here. We got, you know, negative 6 is my smallest x and positive 2 is my largest. Negative 1 is my smallest y and 3 is my largest. So I think I went up to 8. Oh. Let's look together. So, there's an annoying glare. How do I get rid of that? Oh, there we go. Okay, so I actually went way further, but you don't need to. If you can tell, my five points are right in the middle here. So you can make it um, much smaller than this. Maybe go to like six on all ends, right? Make sure you label this as your y-axis and the horizontal axis as your x-axis. And then you're going to put those five ordered pairs that we just found. Negative six, negative two, negative four, zero. Negative two, one, zero. 2 and 2, 3. And you plot those five points. You're not drawing a line because it doesn't say to draw the function and just that. 
it says with the given domain. So the given domain with that function are these five points and that's it. Once you're done with that, cool. Step three, the last thing the problem asked us to do was to identify the range of the function. You should be seeing that at the top of your paper. So the range of the function is your y values. So that's what I wrote here, identify the range. The range consists of the y values from the table. So what are my y values from the table? Negative one, zero, one, two, three. The range of the y values, so that's my answer. Identify the range, done. Negative one, zero, one, two, and three. And that's my answer. Cool. I want you to try this problem on your own. I have the answer already done, so I'm just going to show you it. Pause the video after you finish getting everything down. Try graph the function y equals negative 2x plus 3 with the domain. Negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, and 2, and then identify the range of the function. So it's a different domain that we picked for this one, but it's the same steps. Step 1, make the table. Step 2, list the order pairs and graph. Step 3, identify the range. So once you're done, unpause the video and check it out in your answer and see if you're right. So my table, I made that here. I plugged in negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, and 2 in for my x value of the function. My range turned into 7, 5, 3, 1, negative 1. I plotted those five points here. Well, first I listed my order pairs, negative 2, 7, negative 1, 5, 0, 3, 1, 1, and 2, negative 1. I plotted those five points and made sure to label my axes and some numbers on the coordinate plane. And then I wrote my range answer as 7, 5, 3, 1, and negative 1. Awesome.